for some time. I spoke at uh, RSA Conference USA uh, this year. And over there, my focus was more in terms of how to use the science of habits to transform an individual's behavior. And then over a period of time, I am now trying to work on how to extend it to a group behavior, how to form culture. And when you want to influence the group behavior and the culture of an organization, you need to deal with it in a different way. So the evolution from my USA talk to the Singapore talk is on how to extend the same principles but use it differently in the context of a larger group rather than an individual. Okay. So then what are three major points you plan on making in your talk? The central theme is that we are not in control. <laughs> Even though we would love to think uh, that we are in control, but we are not. And I, I would explain the, um, the basic structure of a human habit. And if you look at the kind of things which we do in our day-to-day -day life, around 40% of the things which we do, we do it unconsciously. I'll give an example like um, tying up the shoelace. Uh, or driving the car, changing the gear, all these things we do without thinking. If you think tying a shoelace is quite complex, right? But we 